guys, welcome back to another one of our streaming safaris. Now before I get too far into it, I do want to mention that this is going to be our only streaming safari for this week. Don't forget folks, we have a poll going on our Facebook page right now. So feel free to vote on when you guys want to go and see those. We're probably going to be moving these down to one a week. Again, we got schools and stuff going in. So we want to see what's going to work best for you guys before we go through. So feel free to vote on that poll before the end of the day. It'll end in just a few hours. So go ahead and vote on that. I think we're going to have about four hours left. And then I will be able to go and see what our new schedule will be. We will announce that next week. Uh, we want to thank everyone so much for your ongoing support. You guys have been amazing. Uh, if you have not been able to visit us, uh, ways that you guys can help support the ranch are one, just by liking and sharing this stuff. Getting the word out has really been one of our best factors right now. You guys are our number one ad team. So thank you for that. And by going and sharing us with your friends and family here in Las Vegas, we've been able to go and reach a lot more people. Also, feel free to donate. Those donations really make a big help with us and they make just those little days easier. Um, and because we still are seeing less traction, we're probably going to see less field trips this year. So donations like that are a big help. But don't forget that uh, we do have options for that as well. You can donate right here on our Facebook page or by going to Lion Habitat Ranch. All right, guys. You can see we got the big guy behind me. We are painting today with Ozzy. So while he's painting, I'm going to go ahead and do my own painting. Because guys, we're talking about some abstract art over here. We're talking about ways that you guys can go and have fun at home. So I'm going to go and just start. So Ozzy here is a fantastic artist. Definitely doing the abstract art motif. And why do we have a painting giraffe? Well, that is because it is something called husbandry. Husbandry means the care of animals. So we go and we take care of our animals in lots of different ways. But you'll notice that Ozzy is pretty darn big. So when it comes to his care, we can be a little bit sneaky. Looks like we got our first question. What do we got today, Denise? What are our hours and restrictions for visiting and are they posted on our website? because we know things can change very suddenly. I would always recommend, even if you go and you look at those guidelines today, before you come in to visit, the day of your visit, make sure you just go and check those out as well. So right now we are currently open Thursdays through Monday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Last admission is 1.30. All of those admissions do have to be pre-purchased online only. And that way it will give us a chance to make sure we're spacing guests out far enough in between to give chance, guests enough chance to go and uh, come through at a nice safe distance from each other. Masks are required. So you do have to have masks if you are coming onto property. Uh, but other than that, that's really some of the biggest things. We do have some, ish, uh, some of our changes with our gift shop area, with how you come through. But those aren't going to change too much once you're here. I was going to say, and we also, do you want to speak on the state uh, restrictions for interactions with the animals? Yes. Uh, so due to our guidelines, both with the state and some for USDA too, animal interactions are uh, currently not happening. So we want to go and keep the animals safe just as much as you guys. So we are currently not doing any animal interaction that includes feedings for both the giraffes and the lions. Um, again, that's actually to help keep them safe and healthy and to help keep you guys safe and healthy. Uh, so that's why. So we don't know when that's going to change. We have no plans on that because those are going to be some other guidelines that we still have to follow. So that's why I really recommend checking on our Facebook page and our website first. Uh, we're always happy to go and give you more information. You can also just feel free to call if you do have questions there. But we'd love to see you. Come on in. It's a billion degrees though, so make sure you are absolutely welcome to bring water. I would also plan on just making sure that you realize you are an outdoor facility. Uh, make sure you're covered for the sun and you're aware that you're going to be outside for about an hour in Las Vegas. Plan accordingly. Now behind me, we are doing a couple of different paints here with Ozzy. And you can hear he's actually, uh, there's actually some clicking going on. What that is, is a bridge. 
So what that does is it makes the connection between the right thing that Ozzy does at that exact moment and the tasty treats he's going to get at the end. We use positive reinforcement training here. So put the paint to the the paintbrush to the canvas. Megan is behind me clicking, and Ozzy knows that whenever he hears that click, he's going to get a tasty reward. That way, he can actually continue doing more if he doesn't stop immediately when he hears it. And the more clicks he hears, he knows he's going to get more tasty treats. So, guys, you you know what this is like every day. You guys go through the same thing. When you are at school and your teacher says, good job, you get a gold star on your paper or you get an A plus and you do really hard work and you go and you do the right thing and you do really well and you study for a test, that is all the same thing. Ozzy over here though is getting Brussels sprouts for his. There's no gold stars for, for giraffe, but there's Brussels sprouts. So what do you think guys? Would you work really hard on an exam if you knew that instead of an A plus, your teacher was gonna give you a big roll of broccoli at the end of it? Be like, you did great, no wrong answers. Broccoli for everybody. No, I'm pretty sure I'm hearing crickets through the Facebook page right now. So that's what it is. Um, it's just like that, if you work hard, you get a nice paycheck. Awesome. Now I'm just over here painting because, hey guys, it's fun. It lets me express myself. I get some fun creativity out there. But with Ozzy, he's having fun. He's getting to go and interact with his trainers, which actually is one of Ozzy's favorite things. He loves attention. He loves hanging out with us. But he stands right now at about 16 feet tall. It is really hard to go and check out a giraffe to make sure he's growing properly when he stands 16 feet above you. So what is actually happening over here, like I mentioned earlier, we're being a little sneaky. This is relationship building. Ozzy's having a fun time. He's trusting his trainers to come down and work with them because he knows when he brings his head down, it's not scary, it's fun. Now the reason is giraffes are high up in the air. That's where they're safest. When they bring their heads down to drink, when they're in their natural environment, that is actually when they're at their most vulnerable state. He can't see as far, he can't hear as well, and he wouldn't be able to run away as fast. So he has to really be comfortable to want to come down and paint with us. And we absolutely love that. So this is why this training is so important for him. He's doing some fun things. We're checking him out. Is he growing up to be the best, healthiest giraffe possible? I think he is. But we want to make sure his eyes look clear, that his nose is good, his ears are open and wiggling, and that his teeth down in front are healthy as well. All of those factors will all come together to make sure that we're doing our job and we can catch things early enough. So this again all goes back to husbandry, the care of animals. Pretty fun. Now, while this is going on, guys, please ask us some questions. If you guys want to know how we train, why we train, why I'm making a terrible finger painting, go ahead. Because once again, guys, I'm not an artist. I'm a zookeeper. Oh goodness. But hey, I love it. If you guys want to follow along at home and finger paint, I would love to see your artwork. Because this is a really fun way to express yourself. You get to go and play in the fun paint. I'm loving it. I'm going to go and do some, some, some different behaviors. You know, you know, flick. We're flicking. Super fun. Now, there's a lot of different training that goes on in zoological facilities all over the place. And you guys can actually do this at home as well. So when you think about training, a lot of times we think about asking our, our animals at home to sit or to spin in a circle, anything like that. But you can actually train your animal to maybe go to the vet and get a shot. How cool would that be? What do we got? Rexy says she gives her cockatiel a Cheerio for training. Very good. That is a great idea. Now, Rexy, maybe you know the answer to this. Oh, I think Ozzy's all done, maybe. Oh, maybe Ozzy's done. Oh, apparently Ozzy is telling us what he said. Great job. Oh, I think the paintings are done. Yeah, I got Oh, he, he, he did that, yes. Do you want to compare your art to his art? Yes, we'll go and we'll do this. There we go. My art versus Ozzy art. I'm not lying when I say he's the better artist every time. 
Now, Rexy, you can also train your co of course, it's windy. Train your cockatoo, teal, cockatiel. I know you have a cockatiel. I have the cockatoo. Uh, to paint, too. Birds can absolutely learn how to paint. And I know that one of our fans out there has a painting dog, too. We've seen that. He's pretty awesome. Great job. Now, you saw him bow at the end. Pretty awesome. What do you think, guys? I think he's a pretty awesome giraffe. If you have any questions about training, about husbandry, about maybe wanting to go and take one of these paintings home yourself, please don't hesitate to ask. Heather said one looks like a shark. Perfect for Shark Week. Perfect for Shark Week. Oh, I see a shark fin. That's up here. Do we see any other shark guys? Is that what we're looking for? I think so. I, have to, I feel like this could be shark teeth punching through the waves. I always love looking for the hidden artwork in every Aussie painting. Dun, dun. Well, great job, Ozzy. Awesome job. You can show us just how amazing he is. How tall are you, Oz? Good job. You think I'm this tall? All right, guys. That's about going to wrap it up for today. Again, it is really hot, so we got to go and make sure that our uh, camera does not overheat. Remember, we need your voices. So go ahead and vote on our Facebook page of when you'd like to see our next streaming safari. Next week, it's going to be at the same time. It's going to be at Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. And again, we're not going to have one on Friday this week. So it's going to be next week at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. But then we'll be announcing where we're going to go and switch to our new time. So keep an eye out for that. And guys, even if you're watching this later on and you're not catching it live, please still ask questions, comment, share like those are always really great ways you can help out and again if you're able to go and make any donation that you're comfortable with right now please feel free to do so it makes a huge difference even just a few dollars helps cover brussels sprouts for ozzy pretty awesome to be able to make a really big impact this is a small um, effort that's a really great thing and we're able to go and do that right here on our facebook page or by checking out lionhabitatranch.com all right, guys, we are just about done, so I think we're going to go and say farewell. I'll catch you again next time. Bye, everyone.